Among all the features of Blender ever, Geometry Nodes stands out as the most powerful and course-changing feature. Yes, Eevee and Cycles changed Blender, but not to the same level as Geometry Nodes, and there were always alternative render engines you could use. But when it comes to Geometry Nodes, it has opened up so many possibilities and exceeded my expectations of what is possible to do with Blender. Every time, I am completely blown away by demos on Twitter by fellow artists showing off some new neat trick they discovered. Thankfully, a lot of these demos are available to download and check out for free. So let's explore them and other Geometry Nodes tools that are available. Before we jump in, if you want to learn Geometry Nodes, there's a new course that is perfect for you, especially if you are trying to use it for motion graphics and building procedural workflows. It's taught by Top Channel One-on-One, -on -one, and I think you will love it. Use the link in the description to get 25% off. Let's start with this impressive maze animation by Higgas. Everything is procedural, and what's more impressive is how the ball is able to navigate the maze without any guiding hand. Higgas is also the creator of the Higgas Geometry Nodes toolset, a set of geometry nodes groups for creating amazing procedural effects, including deformers, displacements, VDM brushes, and more. If you didn't use Blender before version 2.5, that's around 2015 for young folks, you may not truly appreciate what this amazing software has become. Being able to create entire cities with traffic control, street level detail, and absolute realism. Something like this would take years to make. And today, a single person can create a city that looks beautiful, believable, and alive using a generator like the City Generator. You don't have to have been around before geometry nodes to realize how much time procedural tools save. Without a procedural tool, making a building like this, fully modeled, textured, and ready to render, would take at least two days. That's if you spend the whole day at it. But most projects require more than one building, so imagine if you need 10. Imagine if you need the style and textures to change. Most of us would give up by the second building. But with a geometry nodes tool like auto building, all that can be done in a single sitting on your lunch break. You can change the style, the textures, and the design of the building. Each building can be as unique and different as you want. And if you want to add more detail because creating the main parts took literally seconds, adding extra touches becomes easier and fun. There are a few artists in the Blender community who have been exceptional at pushing the limits of geometry nodes, and I just have to take my hat off to them. The first one is Chanterelle. If there is a new node, you can be assured he will be among the first to stress test it. He has shown off quite a lot of stuff on his page, so check him out. Links are in the description. Geometry nodes by itself is not that impressive, but if you combine it with some assets, you can turn some points moving around into a crowd that behaves in a natural way, responding to its environment and avoiding each other, turning empty places into interesting, lively neighborhoods. A tool like Procedural Crowds is only possible thanks to geometry nodes, though you have to give its developers a lot of credit as well for the optimization and functionality they layered on top of this. Features like being able to switch the characters to make unique characters and creating a nearly limitless number of animations make the crowds come alive. Like the procedural crowds add-on, the perfect Blender tool comes as a combination of a system that uses geometry nodes, the Blender Python API, a great user interface, and a library of models that look good to pull from. After all, this is a visual medium. What the audience cares about is how everything looks, then how it adds to the story. For us artists, uh, what we care about is everything the audience cares about and then how easy it is to create or put together and how optimized it is for our computers to render. Case in point, a procedural tool like Procedural Traffic hits all the marks. For the audience, they just see amazing results with realistic animations. And as an artist, you get a way to simulate hundreds of cars in a scene in a realistic and optimized way. Another thing Geometry Nodes has made possible is using workflows and tricks that work in other areas, like the game industry inside Blender. The use of sprites to create animations has been around since before 3D was a thing, but for years, this ability to make amazing effects was impossible to create in Blender. It's one of the best ways to create realistic explosions, dust simulations, smoke, projectiles, fog, water, and more, all in real time. We couldn't do this inside Blender until Geometry Nodes was introduced. It's still a tricky setup to create, but luckily for us, Madness Lab created a collection of these sprite particles that we can easily use. Speaking of tricks that worked elsewhere, but not in Blender, the Cell Fluids add-on is a fluid simulation system similar to what a lot of game engines use. Because a full fluid simulation would be too taxing on any video game and would significantly affect the frame rate, workarounds are used. 
These do not look as realistic as using accurate simulators like flip fluids, but they work great for video games, and in most cases, non-photorealistic renders and animations. That's why Cell Fluids is one of the most popular fluid simulations on Blender Market. Most of us are not creating Hollywood-level visual effects or movies. What we get with Cell Fluids is more than enough, and it being procedural and real-time is just the cherry on top. This is mostly the case for a lot of projects. Because we are not targeting the big screen or IMAX level renders, we can get away with using smart generators like this. The procedural castle generator is not going to generate every detail or every pebble in your medieval movie, but you don't want that either. It generates enough detail for far and medium shots, and when you want close-up shots, you can always add details in other ways. For close-up detail, you can use other procedural generators like this procedural building generator, which generates intricate details so that no matter how close the camera is to the building, it's always looking at interesting elements. This is the power of geometry nodes, being able to scale up and scale down detail as needed. It's a great way to optimize your scene so that your renders are fast and your project files are easy to work with. Tools like these, which can create ready-made assets, have made it possible for a lot of artists to pitch for work they otherwise wouldn't have dared to because they can create a lot more with less. There are a lot of life improvement tools that can be made with geometry nodes. This bundle is a collection of 50 of them, including tools for creating cables, planets, grass, snow, fire, rocks, debris, Legos, bridges, fences, spaceships, and a lot more. You never know what you need until you need it, so having a bundle like this with various procedural tools is incredibly valuable. If you want a similar collection but for VFX, then the BlendFX Toolkit is a time saver. It includes arrows, missiles, and other projectiles, fire, dust particles, small things needed in a scene that can take quite some time to create. Remember, each shot can require 5 to 10 unique effects. Geometry Nodes has also changed how add-ons work. Back then, most add-ons were a combination of the Blender Python API and different custom and built-in operators. For example, Botanic, which is one of the largest libraries of vegetation, and now includes low-poly assets with wind animation support, in some cases uses geometry nodes to create more advanced biomes and ecosystems. Adding these functionalities is not an easy task. So if developers are nearly rewriting their add-ons to take advantage of a new Blender feature, you know that feature is going to be quite powerful. Creating terrains and landscapes in Blender is straightforward, just a simple mesh and some displacement. But getting them to look realistic with all the little details that make them feel alive can be a bit of a process. Whether you're designing mountains, valleys, alien planets, or peaceful meadows, terrains add so much to a scene. The trick is refining them without spending hours adjusting every little bump and slope. Terrain Mixer makes this process quicker, offering tools to create varied, detailed landscapes so you can spend more time on the fun, creative aspects of your project. Cables are pretty simple to make in Blender, just a curve with some thickness, but they really do add that extra layer of interest to a scene. You can use them in all sorts of settings. Sci-fi scenes as tech cables, medieval setups as ropes, forests as vines, or even in abandoned buildings where they hang loose and messy. While making cables isn't hard, getting them to look right and fit the environment can take a bit of time. An add-on like Cablerator simplifies the process, helping you quickly set up cables in various shapes and styles so you can focus on the creative side. Spaceships in Blender are also easy to make. You just start with, nah, I'm kidding. They are not at all easy to create. It's challenging. You'll spend ages figuring out shapes, details, and getting everything to look just right and by the end, you might regret even starting. Honestly, I don't recommend it, unless you're using something like the Spaceship Generator add-on. With that, you can skip the struggle and jump straight into customizing cool spaceship designs without the headache. What else is easy? I was going to say flowers, because they look easy at first. You model one petal and duplicate it around to make a flower, and that's it. But no, that's not it. Sometimes I want to vent about how hard things can be to make, but I remember I'm supposed to inspire you guys and keep you motivated. Thankfully, Geometry Nodes is a middle ground these days. I can say, hey, making this is super hard, but you know what, there's this amazing tool that also makes it super easy to do, like these flowers, which are also animated and customizable. In fact, it's a collection of Geometry Nodes flowers 
that are animated to open up, grow, and more. It's fun. How about creating destroyed buildings? It definitely looks complicated already, but again, there is a geometry nodes tool that makes it easier. In fact, it's a collection of tools to add destruction detail to any mesh, not just buildings. You can add cracks, damage, rebar, wire meshes, and more. You want a busy alley with people walking around, open and closed shops, apartments, basically a dense city vibe. There is an add-on for that, procedural alleys. It has everything integrated. Of course, you can do this yourself, but it's not gonna be easy. The easy way is using a tool meant for exactly that, like the procedural alleys add-on. Another one is the destroyed building generator, and it does exactly that, creates procedural destroyed buildings. I could say, of course, you can do this yourself, it won't be easy, but you can still do it. But for a lot of people, that would not actually be true. You would have to go through a bunch of tutorials to learn how to make something like this, um, especially if you are a beginner. Getting the right tool not only saves you the time you would spend creating the destroyed building, but it also saves you hours of going through countless tutorials, if you can even find them. To end on a bright note, the Christmas season is here, and it's the perfect time to get cozy and create some festive sweaters. If crafting them in real life isn't an option, this knitting generator add-on is here to bring those warm, knitted designs to your digital projects. With its intuitive geometry node setup, you can easily create and customize sweaters in Blender, adding all the intricate details and patterns you'd expect from a real knit. And that's it. Remember, if something seems too hard to do, double check to see if you are using the right tool or if there is a tool out there that will simplify the task. Don't forget to check out the new Geometry Nodes course that helps you learn to create your own procedural tools and motion graphics.